Korea Aerospace Industries has presented its proposal to the Philippine Air Force as part of the Air Power Symposium held earlier today, which includes upgrading the PAF's existing FA-50PH Fighting Eagle fleet as part of a larger program that includes the acquisition of 24 new FA-50 aircraft to equip two squadrons. As shown on one of the photos below, Kai appears to have made a different block definition of the FA-50 upgrade Block 50, 60 and 70 compared to what Kai previously made public a few years ago Block 10 and 20. Looking at the step-by-step -step development, it appears to us that this block definition is the latest from Kai. In the photo below, it is considered that the ability to use the Sniper ATP and Drop GBU-12 Paveway 2 LGB are part of their Block 50 upgrade and is labeled as, completed. These were previously considered by Kai as part of the Block 10 upgrade. Meanwhile, upgrades to allow carrying of 300-gallon centerline fuel tank and air-to-air -air refueling using telescopic probe were made part of Block 60 upgrade and labeled as, in progress, while installation of AESA radar like the Raytheon Phantom Strike, allow use of BVRAAMs like AIM-120 AMROM, helmet-mounted display system like the Thales Scorpion, and incorporation of more advanced air-to-air -air missiles including high-off borazite missiles like AIM-9X are considered under Block 70 and is labeled as, planned. These were previously considered by Kai as part of the Block 20 upgrade. To those who read my previous post on Twitter about the PAF's FA-50PH fleet having been upgraded up to a certain point that it is more advanced than standard FA-50s but is less capable than the new Block 20 FA-50 offered to Poland and Malaysia. We mentioned that the PAF's FA-50PH might have already the upgrades that allow sniper ATP pods to be carried. At the same time, there is already evidence that PAF FA-50PHs can carry and drop the GBU-12 Paveway 2 laser-guided bombs, which other existing FA-50s cannot. Based on these capabilities, it means the PAF FA-50PH might have already reached the so-called Kai Standard Block 50 upgrade. Since both Poland and Malaysia ordered the FA-50 Block 20 and are expected to receive their first aircraft in a few years' time, Kai is expected to complete the development and integration of these upgrades to the FA-50 Fighting Eagle by at least 2025. 